One of the most important tools you have at your disposal is the feedback you receive from your instructors on the assignments you submit. In order to progress as a student, you should be reviewing this feedback and making efforts to incorporate as much of the advice you receive as possible. This feedback will help you grow and improve in both your writing and content knowledge. As mentioned in the previous tutorial, you can access feedback through the My Grades button on the left-hand navigation pane or by going back to the assignment itself through the Weeks folder and opening the assignment. For the purposes of orientation, we will look at accessing the feedback through My Grades. Once you've opened the gradebook, you will want to locate the assignment in the list of graded activities and click on the title of the assignment. This action will take you to another page on which you will find the feedback provided by your instructor. Please note that if you submit an assignment more than once, this page opens to the most recent submission. For the purposes of this orientation, we want to review the first submission. So we will change our view by clicking on the light blue box labeled Attempt 2 and select Attempt 1 from the drop-down list. Once you select the attempt you'd like to review, you should see the assignment you've submitted. You should also see a section titled Comments and Markups. As often happens, the comments are listed in this section, but it may make the space in which you can view your assignment a bit too small. So you can close this box and increase the viewing area of your assignment. If you would like an even larger area, you can slide the Assignment Details box to the right by clicking on the arrow located in the right-hand corner of this area. Now that you have a larger viewing area, you can scroll through your submission to review the feedback provided by your instructor. You'll notice on the example submission there are several different ways in which your instructor can share feedback. The tools used by instructors range from highlighting, adding comments, drawing, inserting text, and using the strikeout tool. The first example is highlighted and outlined with a red box. You'll also notice a dotted yellow line leading you to a field on the right hand side of the page. This is the comment box in which your instructor provided detailed and specific feedback related to the material highlighted. You may also notice that when you point your mouse at a specific comment on the right, the dotted line becomes solid, allowing you to more easily follow the path of the comment to its location in the submission. Reading through these comments is vital to your success. Instructors often provide feedback related to course content and grammatical, spelling, and formatting errors. As you move forward in your education, the goal is to improve your communication skills. By reading and implementing the feedback provided, you'll be well on your way to improving your overall communication. Excellent communication skills are prized by employers. So, the more clearly and effectively you communicate, the more valuable you may appear in the workplace. To review the specific feedback attached to the document, you simply need to scroll through the pages and read the comments where they appear. Once you've reviewed the document comments, you may want to see what the instructor had to say about your assignment overall. These comments can be found in the Assignment Details box we collapsed earlier. To reopen this feature, simply click on the white arrow located along the right-hand margin of the page. In this column, you will find several important pieces of information. First, you will see the score you earned on the assignment. In some cases, you may be able to submit an assignment more than once. The last graded attempt score will show in the black box at the top. This is the version of the assignment you submitted last that your instructor has graded. The feedback particular to each attempt is located below the attempt number. For example, if you look at attempt 1, you will see the following sections. Submission. This is the name of the document you submitted for grading. Comments. Any comments you provided on the submissions page will appear here. These are the comments you made for your instructor when you submitted your assignment. Feedback to Learner. This is where you can see overall comments provided by your instructor. Many times, instructors like to write up a summary of their thoughts and provide a general response to what you've submitted. This type of feedback will appear here as well as in the speech bubble on the main grade page. You might possibly see a section titled File Name. This appears when your instructor attaches documents to your submission such as a rubric to help you see where you did well and where you can continue to improve. If you click on the name of the file, the document will open and you can review the material provided. In other classes, the rubric will be presented as an icon in the attempt block. 
Clicking on this icon will open the rubric that details the points received in each of the grading categories, feedback, and a calculated final grade. Check your feedback frequently and take your instructor's advice when moving forward, as this will help you be successful in not only this class, but in your future classes as well.